Welcome to Jordan. What's up everyone, I'm Mike and in this video, I'm gonna walk you through everything I did and a breakdown of how much I spent in just 48 hours in Jordan. Jordan's got this awesome mix of ancient history and jaw-dropping nature. We're gonna check out some awesome places like Petra, Wadi Rum, the historic Jordan River, and the surreal experience of the Dead Sea. Welcome to an epic 48 hours in Jordan. Our first stop takes us to the historic city of Petra, which is also known as the Rose City, which is located in the south of Jordan. We stayed at the Sandy Palace Hotel. As we were checking in, I asked if they had any tours or anybody they could recommend, and immediately they gave us this tour company's number, and within 10, 15 minutes, we were set up for the next day. The next morning, the journey started with our driver, Kareem, waiting for us at the door at 6.30 in the morning. We had a three-hour drive ahead of us in which Kareem made a couple stops along the way. We stopped for coffee and a quick bite. We just walked around and we saw the sun rise for a little bit. We also asked Kareem to stop at an ATM because we needed to pay him in cash, which was the deal for the tour. And he was excited for the stop as he stopped in one of his favorite spots, which had this beautiful view from the top of the mountain. We arrived at Petra around 11 a.m., which Kareem dropped us off right on the beginning of the ticket booth. I recommend purchasing a Jordan Pass at the airport, which will help for tourist attractions. For a one-day visit, it was 50 JD, which is roughly 70 USD. The walk back from Treasury is a bit of a hike, so you may want to consider renting the golf cart you're going to see as soon as you get in the entrance. We were lucky to come across two local bedrooms and kids omar and achman which they were amazing midway through our hike if you come across these fellows i highly recommend asking them to guide you they will show you the ins and outs and areas that other guides will not show you also another advice is they know the perfect spots for the best photos so trust me you want to go with these guys we gave them 25 dollars each which was a lot cheaper than a guide and we got more of an authentic tour if you're up for an adventure there are two peaks where you can see petra most people only go up to the first but omar told us to trust him and took us to the highest peak although it's a little bit tough to get up to the second peak the views are unbelievable just look at this amazing beautiful view that we were able to see around 1 15 we returned to where kareem had dropped us off in the beginning from there kareem was able to take us to an all-inclusive buffet in petra which is about a five minute drive which was absolutely worth it and it was part of the tour from petra we went on to our next adventure which was the wadi rum desert a little background on wadi rum's appearance it looks like mars so they've used it in the movies martian and they've also used it in a lot of the star wars movies we left petra around 2 p.m and we reached wadi rum around 3 3 through 30. to our surprise kareem stopped at a gas station and had us waiting there for a little bit out of nowhere a gentleman comes in with a truck and he just told us jump in the back of the truck which ended up being our guide for the rest of the day which his name was ibrahim and for the next half hour he just drove through the desert and we had no idea where we're going we had no idea about our surroundings and we were just going in the back of this truck about half hour into our drive, we ended up coming to this rock bridge formation, which was unbelievable. My buddy Nick and I climbed to the top. We were able to capture mesmerizing photos and videos. We spent about 45 minutes there and it seemed like it was the end of the tour. But Ibrahim asked us if we could extend the time just a little bit. He's got something to show us. So we went ahead and said, yeah. In my opinion, this turned out to be one of the best travel experiences I ever had as Ibrahim just drove us deeper into the desert and parked his car and just started creating a fire on the floor. And we just watched the sunset in the middle of the desert. No one around us. It was truly, truly an unbelievable experience. He made hot tea, brought out some dates and fruits and we just hung out and just talked and it was unbelievable experience that we were not expecting after the sunset we returned to gas station around 6 p.m and arrived back to amon around 8 p.m which was perfect timing once we got back we arranged a dead sea tour right at the hotel again with no problems we knew that this was the company we wanted to be with that was the end of day one and this is the total cost the drive there and back to petra was 275 dollars which also included the lunch buffet the entrance was about 70 us dollars each each person for Petra. The Wadi Rum experience was 35 JD, which comes out to 50 US dollars. And we gave Ibrahim a $25 tip on top, which comes out to about $180 per person for day one. The next day begins with a visit to Jordan River. We got picked up around 10 AM. So we were able to sleep in a little bit more and we headed straight to Jordan River, which is about a two hour drive. This part of the tour was a little shorter, which lasted about an hour. It comes out to 12 JD, which is 17 US dollars for the entrance fee. A little backstory 
on the Jordan River, it holds a great significance for Christians and is believed that is one of the sites of Jesus Christ's baptism by John the Baptist. You will also be able to visit St. John the Baptist Church where you can purchase some rosaries in which you can dip them in the water also. This river is also a border for neighboring countries. There were people getting baptized on both ends of the river. By 1 p.m., we were back in the car for a quick 10 minute drive to the Dead Sea. Our 48 hour journey concludes with the Dead Sea, the lowest point on earth. We arrived about 1.30 p.m. Our tour was arranged with Marriott, which also included an all you can eat buffet, which was about $50 and also included the entrance to the Dead Sea. This was optional with the tour, but I highly suggest to take it as the food was really fresh and the entrance to the Dead Sea was really, really nice. Here's a fun fact about the Dead Sea. The salt levels are so high that it is nearly impossible to sink in its waters. So make sure you can capture a photo of yourself reading a book while floating something you can only experience here also be sure not to miss the mud bath stations which will be all along the beach the Dead Sea mud is renowned for its mineral rich properties. Many visitors cover themselves in the natural mud, which is believed to have therapeutic benefits for the skin. So we hung out a little bit at the Dead Sea, walked around for a little bit, enjoyed it, and we wrapped it up and went back to the entrance around 4.30, which we returned back to Amman at 6.30 p.m. Our cost for day two was 55 JD, which comes out to 77 US dollars. This is for the driver. 15 JD, 21 US dollars for the Jordan River entrance and 50 US dollars for the Dead Sea entrance and the buffet. We gave the driver an extra $30, bringing the overall cost for day two to roughly about $105. Jordan with its rich history offers a ton of once in a lifetime experiences as you just saw could be done in just 48 hours. From the ancient wonders of Petra to the Martian landscapes of Wadi Rum, the sacred waters of the Jordan River, and ending this trip relaxing, floating on the Dead Sea. The total cost of this adventure came out to around 285 US dollars per person. My opinion is a great overall price especially that these tours were set up the day of. The people that we met and helped guide us created lifetime memories. Thanks for following along on this incredible adventure and remember there's so much more to explore in this beautiful country. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep making memories.